Welcome to the PlaceTime Beta. This video introduces how to use PlaceTime, a mobile app for iOS. Tap on the PlaceTime text in the top left hand corner. Now click No on the opening dialog. PlaceTime will now ask for two permission requests. It uses your device's camera to understand where it is in the room and GPS to understand the global location. To calibrate, you will need to point your camera at the floor and move it around slightly. A well-lit open floor works best. Once the floor is detected, a 3D map appears. Try looking and moving around. PlaceTime also works from a stationary or seated position, which is great if you're not able to move around freely. You can use traditional map gestures. Touch and drag to pan, two fingers to rotate around the pointer, and two finger pinching to move up and down. PlaceTime also provides a controller. Push it forward to fly forward, pull back to move away. Pushing the controller to the right or left will rotate your camera around the pointer in the middle of the screen. Tap and hold this controller to activate the radial menu. You can place the pointer over the desired option and release, or you can tap it directly. Selecting Quick Links presents you with a list of your available PlaceTime enabled properties. After selecting a property, you will fly to its 3D model with photos, text, and information placed into the 3D scene. The color of the pointer will indicate what happens when you select an item. A gray pointer represents the resting state, nothing's going to happen. A blue pointer will bring you closer for a better look. A red pointer indicates that content is still downloading and not yet available. Once ready, the pointer will turn green. Clicking on that will take you into another scene, enabling you to walk around at a one-to-one -one scale. Most interactions work the same ways indoors as they do out. Walk around, drive with the controller, and tapping on other markers. Small spherical markers will bring you inside a panoramic photo. Other markers will open your web browser to show you relevant information. Just like in a web browser, you can use the back button to return to previous viewpoints. This action is also available from the radial menu. 